So there's a judge that was arrested in the Metro Atlanta area in Buckhead. A judge, um, Douglas County judge, was arrested at a Buckhead nightclub. Whew. The reason why I want to share this video with you guys because the tone that is coming out with this video sounds very, very familiar. And I want to see if you guys could pick up on the tone. At the end of the video, I will give you what the tone is. But I just want to see if you guys could pick up on the tone, right? So a judge was arrested for punching a cop, right? In Atlanta. Atlanta is not a real place. A lot of people say Atlanta is not a real place. And I'm starting to believe that. I lived out here in Atlanta for five years. And the more I live out here, the more cartoonish Atlanta is becoming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share this clip from 11 Alive News. I'm going to share another clip from 11 Alive News of the follow-up of this incident. But I just want to share the tone of what is being said in this uh in this, in this incident with this judge hitting a police officer. But before we get into that, man, here on Broken Traditions, we're about breaking away from traditions of toxic black culture. If you're into that kind of content, please join the movement. Join the movement by subscribing to the YouTube, joining Patreon, follow me on Rumble, Instagram, and Threads. Trying to build an online community of people who want to break away from toxic traditions, right? This is not really the format of stuff I do. I just want to have some fun with you guys at the end of the week, right? We have some real heavy content. You can check that out. Shout out to um, Pink Book Lessons. She said, <laughs> this is the city city girl judge. And that, they actually go back and forth in her comments, which is crazy to me. Shout out to also Nate the Lawyer. That's the first person I see talk about this. But let's pull up this clip from 11 Alive News with this other part of the story. Their side, right? Her side, her story, not his story. Her story from the judge and the judge's lawyer. <laughs> the judge's lawyer. This is crazy. But let's, let's go to this, man. Atlanta is not a real place. Atlanta is crazy, man. And let me know in the comments if you guys live out here in Atlanta or you party in Buckhead 3 o'clock in the morning during the week as a judge. Let me know. A Douglas County probate judge says that she was wrongfully arrested and charged in Atlanta. So this is the mugshot of Christina Peterson. Atlanta police arrested and charged her with a felony after an officer says that she hit them early this morning and they were responding to a fight outside the Red Martini Club in Buckhead. Peterson has since bonded out of jail, but tonight we're learning witnesses who saw it all go down say that she was trying to help a woman in distress. 11 Alive's Angelina Salcido live tonight in Buckhead. So Angelina, you actually went to the judge's home today, but you were able to speak with her. Were, not, were, were you able to speak with her? Ron, I was able to speak with both of her parents who say that they are just surprised by these charges, the arrest, and they know that their daughter was just trying to help. The woman at the center of this fight recovering after getting out of the hospital tonight, she tells me police got the wrong person. Beat up. Now, well, still at the hospital. I just got an x ray done on my lower back because um, I fell. I got pushed down and I tripped over the curb. So I landed on my elbows. Um, he punched me in my face. Alexandria Love says an argument turned violent early Thursday morning. She says a woman's boyfriend attacked her. So a woman's boyfriend attacked her at a club three o'clock in the morning, and somehow the judge got arrested for hitting a cop. But the person who attacked this woman is Scott Free. Does this sound familiar to you guys? Let me know in the comments who this sound like and put a timestamp if you figure it out who this sound like before I say it. But let's continue on. So like sad because no one helped. There was so many men, so many men out there. And the only person that helped was a woman. <laughs> so this woman got to a conflict with a, another man. Uh, I guess this man's girlfriend and the man got involved and attacked this woman. And the judge got into with it with a cop and got arrested. But, and all these men are standing around and nobody helped her except for this judge. I'm just saying, I heard a story like this before, but let me know in the comments if you guys know. Love says that woman is Douglas County probate judge Christina Peterson. Atlanta police responded just outside Red Martini Club around 315 when the fight broke out. So you a judge 
I mean, I don't know. I don't know about being a judge and being in those spaces, but I'm not going to no bar during the week at Buckhead three o'clock in the morning. I'm not being in those spaces. Three o'clock in the morning, nothing good is happening in Buckhead. I'm sorry, right? Nothing good happened in Buckhead, Bankhead. No, <laughs> I'm not out there. That, those times are nice. But you a judge, that's just poor judgment, in my opinion. But let's continue on. Only because of the way she was swinging. So in the process of her reaching back, that's how the cop got hit. Madison Shannon Kelly is Love's friend who was also trying to get her help. Focus is not the judge. The focus is the fact that this man attacked my friend. They say. So this man attacked your friend. You didn't help, but the judge helped. So your friend got attacked. All these men are standing around. Even your friend is standing around. And the judge helped. And the judge got arrested for accidentally hitting the cop. Something ain't adding up. Something's not adding up. Because in my in my uh, experience with people that's in law enforcement, in, the, in my experience with people that's in, um, I guess, like in the judicial system, right like judges and lawyers and people those people always work hand in hand if a cop got accidentally hit by a judge for what i know from the people that i know that judge would not be arrested but maybe this cop was on one that night right but also let's forget this woman got beat up by a man and nobody helped all the men standing around even her friend didn't help but this judge helped and this judge got arrested the officers never arrested the man responsible, but Judge Peterson was arrested and charged with simple battery against a police officer and a felony after an officer says they were struck with their closed fist. Judge did nothing more than try to help. He got arrested as friend! Peterson's attorney, Marvin Arrington Jr., says this video shows her arrest. They're now looking for the charges to be dropped. Oh, I So the girl friend got beat up and the girl who friend got beat up also <laughs> filmed the judge getting arrested and posted it on social media. Atlanta's not a real place. Our witnesses will confirm the judge had nothing to do and they let the young man who was assaulting the lady go. Now, Angelina, I know you spoke with her attorney. Does he expect these charges to be dropped at all? Ron, he does, and he says that the video is going to be a key piece of this in order to show that this hit to the officer was not intentional. One of those videos we actually played for you of the alleged arrest, they're also working to get videos from the clubs that you see behind me. Also, the body camera footage from the Atlanta police officers that responded. They're going to be addressing the arrest and charges tomorrow afternoon. We're live tonight in Buckhead. Angelina Salcido. All right, so you seen I heard that from Angelina Salcido. She was like my friend Quine. It's like she looked identical to Quine. So, so you seen that you heard that, man. Um, I want to go now to the the lawyer for the judge having a press conference with the judge after she bailed out and what was said. This thing is, like I said, the the verbiage is very interesting to say the least, right? The verbiage is very interesting to say First the least. At five, just a few hours ago in a news conference, we heard from the attorney representing a Douglas County judge who was arrested early Thursday morning outside of a Buckhead bar. Yeah, he says that his client, Judge Christina Peterson, was simply being a good Samaritan. And now he's calling on criminal charges against her to be dropped. 11 Alive's Karis Belger was there today. Karis joining us live tonight. So what else did attorney Marvin Arrington say here, Karis? Well, Judge Christina Peterson's attorney says the person who should have been in arrested is the person who attacked a woman outside of a Buckhead lounge. That's the same woman he says Peterson was only trying to help. And now he's calling on Atlanta police to release the footage he says will prove his client is innocent. I saw a perfect stranger that I had never seen before in my life do something that I wasn't even brave enough to do. 
She stepped up and helped my friend. Shannon Kelly says that perfect stranger was Douglas County probate judge Christina Pearson. Kelly shared this video with 11 Alive, which she says shows Peterson being arrested after stepping in to stop a fight involving her friend, Alexandria Love. I had to sit there and call 911. It just feel horrible that nobody actually helped me. I have never been in that situation before in my life. Love says she was standing in line outside of Red Martini Lounge in Buckhead. When a woman... <laughs> all right, all right. I'm... <laughs> it said this happened at 3 o'clock in the morning. I, I... Maybe I'm not in the club life no more. I thought clubs close in Atlanta like the latest four o'clock unless it's one of them pasta pasta reggae spots that probably close like around six in the morning i don't know if red martini is a pasta pasta reggae spot let me know in the comments if you guys been to red martini but you online that late to go into the club i don't know just a lot of things ain't adding up to me but let's continue on woman near her got irate when she accidentally brushed against her that's when love says a man standing next to her in line physically assaulted her he visually attacked so the man so she brushed against the man and the man got mad and just beat her up not saying is it's not true but i think it's some things being left out in the story Back me fist force punched me in my face and she was the only one that helped me. In arrest warrants, officers claim Peterson struck an officer with a closed fist. Judge Peterson is charged with willful obstruction of a police officer by using threats, a felony crime, and simple battery against an officer. So they said she just swung her arm and hit the officer by mistake. But now we talking about threats. We talking about physical assault. Zero's part of the story that's not adding up to me. A misdemeanor. We call on the Atlanta Police Department to dismiss these charges against Judge Peterson. This is living proof of no good deed goes unpunished. Her attorney, Marvin Arrington, says it was not his client who should be charged, but the man in question. And he's urging police to release the footage he says will prove his client is innocent. Now, we have reached out to the Atlanta Police Department multiple times. They told 11 Alive that the incident report for this case is not yet ready and the body camera footage would not be released until this case is adjudicated. Back to you. All right. So you seen that you heard that, right? A woman got beat up in a club. And nobody came to help her. All the men sitting around, nobody came to help her. But the guy who did the beating got away. I'm sorry. This reminds me of um, Brickface or Brick Girl. Now, I'm seeing the, the pictures of her in the hospital. It don't look as fake as the Brick Girl. But something's not adding up. Something's not adding up in the story. Why would the police officers... All right, let, let's, just, let's just put it like this, right? Let me just close off on this. Why would... If it's a, a fight that happened in the club, right? A fight happened in the club or a fight happened on the line and this woman stopped this guy from beating her up. The cops came and between her getting beat up by this guy and the cops coming, they let the guy go. The guy Did the guy just leave? How long did the police come? And how come this police officer was hit accidentally by a judge? Then after that, they go through the whole booking and charging this judge. That don't add up. To, I'm sorry, that don't add up to me. There's something that's being left out. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see a follow-up video once more information come out. But this doesn't add up. It's not adding up. And this remind me of Brick Girl. This remind me of Brick Girl because there are saying very directly hey black man or hey men you're not helping out this woman that's getting a, that's getting attacked by this man we need first of all it feels like a lot of men are not being crash dummies no more it's just jumping into situations where a guy and a girl is fighting we don't know what she said we don't know what she did we don't know if she struck first we don't know if she attacked his girlfriend we don't know none of these things we just know that this judge got arrested and this girl got beat up we don't know anything something ain't adding up 
Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. I appreciate your time. All right, man, until next time. Peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later. One.